Hello to everyone and uh, to talk today about Breezewitch which is uh, PI's motor driver IC family. My name is Christian Ionescu Katrina and I will be your presenter today. We'll talk uh, a bit about the market trends and what drives uh, brushes DC and inverter demand. Then uh, go deeper into the bridge switch architecture and unique value against discrete and IPM like uh, highest efficiency, hardware protection and built-in diagnostics. Have an overview of the design tools and the summary. Okay, so let's get it started. Improved energy efficiency regulation is the main driver for change to brushless DC motors and advanced drive techniques like inverters. Let's go through some examples. Energy Star appliances saves uh, cost and uh, energy. Um, with the new Eco Design energy regulation, uh, EU wants to save uh, 20 billion euros by in energy by 2030, which is an ambitious goal. Ambitious goal, only possible by making a couple of changes to the current standard. So they added low power motors starting from 120 watts before it was around one horsepower and uh, this uh, uh, opens the way for a new new applications to be more efficient and they also added single phase motor efficiency which needs to meet ie2 level starting 2022 there is also a new eu energy labeling which is mandatory starting 2021 Will, uh, it will simplify labeling and custom, custom consumer decision making, but will also rise the efficiency level. For example, in the case of dishwasher, they will be required to be 30% more efficient. Similar targets also in uh, China with the new GB regulation, which sets new efficiency standards for HVAC, came into effect July this year, and the previous best in class efficiency is now second best. BLDC motors and inverter control also provide more accurate motor control and reduces audible noise, which is which are key customer care about. But performance needs to be balanced with system cost. Uh, three phase motors require six switches uh, for the three legs and can be uh, relatively expensive for some application, particularly when we consider the software complexity. Single phase motor on the other side are simpler, uh, have a simpler motor design, only uses four switches and is a more cost competitive solution delivering high efficiency and performance. On top of that, customers also need to innovate. For example, Bosch Siemens announced in September a new concept called System Master which is in fact a new microprocessor which turns the appliance into a digital service platform. This will uh, allow the service center from uh, Bosch Siemens to remotely diagnose uh, faults into the appliance and fix them. We'll talk later how BreezeSwitch can enable uh, such use cases. Let's uh, look a little bit into the BreezeSwitch architecture and the benefits. BreezeSwitch is an integrated half-bridge solution with both low side and high side. So the gate driver, the matching circuitry, the fret fed with the built-in body diode. At the core of the, of the IC, we have the 600 volt power fret fed with very low RDS on across the different variation in the product lineup. It has an optimized body diode inside the fret fed structure, which has been designed with uh, low EMI and low QRR losses in mind. Very important is that the device is factory trimmed, has a factory trimmed gate current and slew rate control, which means that the performance of the part is very predictable across the entire bridge switch population of devices. And this also means that the designer doesn't need to spend time on uh, matching uh, in between uh, the gate driver and the fret fed. They can focus directly 
on their use case. Bracebridge also reduces the software development or certification time by at least two months. And this is possible because of the Class A software readiness, according to IEC 6730. Uh, Bracebridge doesn't rely on software per UL report you will find on our website. Another care about for the designer is uh, system complexity. Briswich doesn't need the external shunt for the current feedback. We will talk about that later. It exposes the motor current which flows through the low side thread fed to a, a pin called IPH. This uh, doesn't require, as I said, the shunt only needs a very small signal resistor. This also means that there is no need for op-amp because all of the amplification is done inside the part. Now, the two uh, PWM inputs, INH and INL, can be tied together in some cases, which will reduce the number of PWM outputs from the microcontroller from 6 to 3. This means that in this case, the microcontroller is simpler the software is simpler, so the total cost of ownership is smaller. Now, uniquely in this market, also Briswitch has an integrated high voltage bus monitoring. Most of the solution out there, either they are IPM or discrete, require a shunt connected to the high voltage bus and the associated circuitry, including uh, OPAP in order to continuously monitor the high voltage bus. This is not needed with Briswitch. It has this built-in feature already and it notifies the MCU of what's happening on the bus. As I mentioned before, uh, there are a range of services which are on the rise. One of them is um, uh, predictive maintenance and remote diagnostics. Briswitch has ability to report the status uh, of the IC itself and uh, of the system through a one wire uh, bus which is called fault bus. And it's also the architecture is ideal for both single phase and three phase motor with uh, two ICs required for single phase and three uh, required for three phase and a very simple way to identify the leg uh, through an ID pin, which uniquely identifies each of the leg. So on top of that, um, it's a very flexible architecture, works with both three and five volt MCUs with the most popular uh, microcontrollers and, uh, and algorithms like uh, field-oriented control, trapezoidal or sinusoidal. Very important is the bill of material. So only 20 components are needed for three phase designs and um, uh, 15 for single phase. Uh, let's take a deeper look into the functionality for a three phase system. Uh, we'll look only in, into one leg. The functionality is similar uh, for, the, for the other legs. Briswitch uh, low and high side drivers have integrated high voltage current sources. This uh, uh, which uh, allowing it to supply itself without external supply. Both steps connect to the HD pin and they provide sufficient drive current <coughs> for the thread fed and supply current uh, for the driver IC. Then we have two bypass capacitors for the low side and the high side and um, they must deliver sufficient gate charge to turn on the fret fed and to provide bias current for the gate driver low side and the high side. Brisage also has an internal shunt regulator which allows uh, supplying it externally in case self-supply is not suitable. The device uh, monitors currents uh, throughout thread fed independent from the microcontroller or any external circuitry or the software. The cycle by cycle current limit is, is um, 
is set with external resistors here R, RxH and RxL and is done independently on the high side and low side. The current limit is adjustable with the maximum value found in the data sheet correspondent uh, to the part number. When the value is exceeded, the respective fret fed will stop switching, for example on the high side will stop switching and we will report the fault condition over the diagnostics bus, fault bus, to the uh, microcontroller. And uh, in response to that, the microcontroller can take action, for example, by uh, turning off the complete inverter. There is uh, also a pin here called uh, uh, system monitor pin, which can be used in three different configurations. One is monitoring the high voltage bus through this uh, resistor. And it can provide different trigger levels for UV and OV protection. Another way of using the SM pin is to monitor an external NTC. It's also trigger based when, for example, 150 degrees Celsius has reached, the, the, the bridge switch uh, notifies the microcontroller through the fault bus. You need to imagine all of these three bridge switches. Uh, each one have, of course, the fault bus pin. All of the fault pins are connected to each other and uh, through a pull up to a three or five volt uh, uh, rail. It's similar to an I square C bus. The difference uh, are two, differences are two. One is there is only one wire, not two. And secondly, also the slave can, in this case, the bridge switch can initiate the communication. The driver software which is required to enable, to implement uh, this capability on the microcontroller is very small, around 2 kilobytes flash and uh, 30, 40 bytes RAM. The third feature of the SM pin is uh, to attach a custom sensor, for example, a vibration sensor same uh, trigger-based functionality as we described for the external NTC. Now, also the bridge switch provides the current which flows, the drain current which flows through the low side fret fed, which mirrors the current which flows through the winding of the motor. In this case, the user doesn't need to add an external shunt, what is required with the competitive solution, only needs a small signal resistor which uh, is used to amplify uh, the signal uh, which is then uh, sampled by an ADC input uh, on the microcontroller. There is no need for an external op-amp. So such configuration of course reduces the system cost, provides a better efficiency by removing the shunt uh, resistor. Now, uh, looking at the lineup, we have five different families. Each one has uh, two flavors. So, for uh, sake of simplicity, I refer to each family by calling the last digit. For example, size zero. Uh, has a continuous RMS current of 200 up to 220 milliamps and is suitable for application up to 50 watts. The two flavors within the family refer to the 1.1 and 1.2 uh, series. The, the only difference is that the 1.2 series has the IPH pin and the 1.1 doesn't. All of the other features are available on both um, parts. Size 1 can deliver up to 500 milliamp RMS and 100 watts, up to 100 watts designs. Um, I also wanted to add here the DC output current, which is in general the metric used by the competition in their data sheet. It's not a relevant metric for designers because it doesn't have a real, let's say, meaning when it comes to real value like RMS. 
but it's important for you when you are trying, you know, to make an equivalent of an existing solution to bridge switch. Size 3 is suitable for application up to 200 watts and RMS 750 milliamp. Size 5 300 watts and size 7 400 watts, particularly for thermally challenging applications or applications which require RMS current up to 1.3 amp. Very important is that all of these families share the same package and the same pinout so it's very easy to swap in between and as you can see on the bottom side there are two exposed pads uh, if you can create a metal picture those are just uh, underneath the fret fat so there are two, the two fret fat here and underneath them you have the exposed pads which help to dissipate the heat which is generated within the fret fat the reason for creating this package was to remove the heatsink. We are using these uh, exposed pads to uh, dissipate the heat through the PCB and in this case uh, remove the, um, uh, the heatsink and remove not only a cost component uh, but also remove the manufacturing cost and uh, increase the reliability of the total system. In terms of applications, uh, the bridge switch is uh, suitable for both single phase and three phase designs, uh, different type of motors, fan, pumps and compressors. I'll give you some example. Axial fans in industrial application or centrifugal fans uh, for both uh, and radial fans for both industrial and residential, commercial uh, aircon, commercial HVAC, um, range hood, uh, fridge compressors, but also heat pumps, industrial pumps, uh, pumps also in uh, washing machine, water pumps or, or dishwasher. So a wide range of applications, uh, important to keep in mind, uh, 400, uh, high voltage motors uh, up to 400 watts. Certification can be a significant time and resource consuming process, especially when it involves a completely new product to be certified. So companies uh, want to reduce time to market and certification can push this out by four to five months. With the bridge switch, which is class A software ready, the customer can cut the certification time by at least two to three months. The feature which enables that is the cycle by cycle uh, current limit protection uh, both on the low side and the high side which protects the inverter and the motor. Within the fret fed fr uh, structure there is a sense fed which provides this monitoring and protection and the overcurrent threshold are set as we discussed by these two resistors. There is a range of, uh, uh, to select the current level from 100%, which is a maximum per device size, from size 0 to size 7, to 43% by carefully selecting of the values of these resistors. It also has fail-safe implementation. A bridge switch also monitors for short circuit or overcurrent faults. There is no software interaction required to trigger the protection. This is an intrinsic built-in hardware protection which um, works cycle by cycle. When the current limit has been reached or has been exceeded, the fret fed uh, uh, switches off. There are uh, two use cases here. One is what I already mentioned. Uh, meeting the regulation and uh, the IEC 6335 and 6730 and in fact being able to pass the certification much faster. The standard solution out there on the market whether they are uh, discrete or IPM don't have this hardware built-in protection and hence require the software. To take action. That is why they are in what is called Class B software. A Class B software solution requires more time to develop 
and longer time to certify. Another use case is, uh, you know, are uh, fault conditions which the customer needs to protect uh, their application against. For example, stalled motor, disconnected motor phase or running overload. All of these are possible to, um, to enable with bridge switch without uh, software intervention. A study showed that 30% of HVAC and fridge compressor returns are no fault found. This is due to lack or misdiagnostics um, and generates unnecessary costs throughout the supply chain. Uh, current motor driver IC solutions don't have the capability to specifically monitor and report what is wrong and where. Let's look at some system faults. Surge or fluctuation of the high voltage bus. Excessive current and temperature of the inverter, it gets too hot. Power switch failure, mounting issues of the heatsink. Unwanted, which of course has implication on the thermos and, uh, and current. Unwanted motor vibration, which over time uh, can uh, damage the motor. Winding shorted to ground, stalled rotor or motor overload. All of this can uh, over time uh, lead to damage or reduced performance, damage of the inverter of the motor or reduced performance. To cope with, uh, with these uh, challenges, uh, a standard, a traditional inverter needs uh, external sensors and processing power. But this means extra cost. With bridge switch, it doesn't need to be like this. Bridge switch will identify affected phase um, in, in case any of the previously uh, mentioned fault will pop up, activate protection, inhibit switching, send fault identifier, and then re-enable switching. It also sends over the diagnostics bus up to nine distinct messages. UV, OV levels, thermal warning, thermal shutdown, uh, the low side and high side overcurrent, pin level faults and threshold faults like we talked about for the vibration sensor, but also insights into the readiness of the inverter, device ready or device not ready. The MCU knows that every time what's happening with the inverter and in the system. So it can log this data and maybe push up the data, do either, you know, uh, smart diagnostics on the edge or push up the data to the cloud where a service center can, um, can consolidate, can aggregate it the, and monitor the appliance uh, health status. Let me give you some uh, uh, examples of uh, the design wins and the reasons for that. For a pump, um, uh, design, the customer was using a three-phase brush SDC with discrete. However, they felt like they spent too much time in, uh, in matching the discrete solution and also the bill of material, the solution was too bulky. So they changed to the uh, bridge suit solution. They achieved a simpler bill of material, hardware protection without software intervention and they were able to come to market much faster. For the range hood, the customer was using single phase ACIM with the triac, but they wanted to enter the higher end segment with higher ASP. This was only possible by offering new functionality. So they, they replaced the triacs uh, with the bridge switch. So they had, uh, they still kept the single phase ACIM, but uh, inverter uh, driven and they were able to achieve lower audible noise and variable speed control. For a centrifugal fan, very important is uh, the space constraints and to meet the thermos because the PCB is inside the motor. Customer are using single phase BLDC with discrete. By using bridge switch, they reduce the bill of material and system complexity. They are also able to connect the PWM inputs of the bridge switch together and reduce the number of the PWM outputs on the MCU. 
In a nutshell, bridge switch is the best solution for motor drives. Against the IPM, it has higher efficiency due to the excellent body diet. It doesn't have hot spots. Uh, IPM has all of the six switches in one package. It is much hotter under um, you know high current uh, test conditions. And uh, IPM doesn't have um, uh, interesting monitoring and um, uh, protection features. It requires the microcontroller and the software to take the lead. And because it has all of the six switches in one package, not only the reliability is lower due to the hotspots, but also requires heatsink. With the bridge switch and the ability to have a much cooler package and the better a better efficiency, uh, we can remove the heatsink and uh, we can also enable a more simpler uh, system design with self-supply. Against the discrete bridge switch offers higher integration, doesn't require matching and has a hardware-based motor for protection with no, with minimum external components compared to the discrete. There is also a wide range of inverter reference designs, um, which are suitable for um, uh, many applications. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, single phase designs. We have um, uh, a lot of uh, three phase solutions uh, based on the different part numbers. So covering different power levels from 30 watts to 400 watts. When efficiency is key, you can take a look here and pick the right design for the application. Some of the design already have a built-in microcontroller, like for example, the 653 with the Toshiba um, FOC ready MCU and the 749 uh, with the Princeton uh, microcontroller, which is a Taiwan based company. All of the other ones are very flexible in enabling uh, the customer MCU card. So the way to do that, we have defined, particularly on on these um, uh, boards from A51 down to the A73, we have defined an MCU interface so that the customer can quickly swap in between cards and still keep the same pinout in between the, their MCU card and uh, target uh, motor driver board. So uh, applications are from, uh, you know, low power, lower current ventilation fan and centrifugal fan, up to more challenging application like garage uh, door opener or industrial pumps and compressors, or maybe thermally challenging applications. Like for example, we had uh, uh, recently a range hood uh, industrial uh, motor driver solution where the ambient can be as high as 70 degree uh, Celsius and the package temperature is not allowed to exceed 95 or 100 degree. So a temperature rise of 30 degrees Celsius. So first of all, please check on our website, all of the uh, design boards I mentioned before are available. We are in full production. We have secure supply and uh, besides the board, a comprehensive design support with application note describing uh, design guidelines and troubleshooting, um, single phase theory, control and the bridge switch advantage for customers who don't have so much experience with single phase. But also we provide C-Cold example for the diagnosis bus. This is very important because it offers a very quick path for the customer to integrate that in their application. We have also a range of white papers, the UL report uh, with the compliance uh, to the safety standard, the IEC 6730, and the package information and IR reflow process. In a nutshell, uh, BreeSwitch is uniquely positioned against competition. It has um, uh, excellent efficiency due to the ultra uh, soft body diode. It um, uh, simplifies the, the system uh, by, uh, re uh, for example, removing the external power supply. 
by removing the software from the certification loop and uh, with the single wire interface communication called fault bus it provides insight into the inverter and system health which can help use cases like uh, uh, remote diagnostics uh, it's a very flexible solution works very easily for single phase and three phase motor and has a very low profile surf surface mount uh, uh, package uh, in fact um, all of our boards design boards which we mentioned before have a very good um, a description of the size of the copper area which is required in order to cope uh, with the dissipated heat so please check them and uh, align with the customer what size of uh, PCB copper area is acceptable to them so I would like to thank you for your time and we are looking forward to working together with you to find the bridge switch project thank you